We're up here on top of Mount Marcy, just waiting for the sun to rise. Day two of the Northville Plastic Trail is in the books. Well, life doesn't get much better than this open ridge walk on Jay Mountain. And we're at the summit of Lower Wolf Jaw, our eighth high peak of the day here on the Great Range Traverse. Well, it's 4.30 a.m., heading a big slide today, and it's negative four degrees here at the parking lot. Bushwhacking our way up Green Mountain, and I have to say, the trees are winning this fight today. Well, the sun is shining and the wind is whipping here up on Haystack. Next stop, Saddleback Cliffs. Cock-a-doodle-doo from the summit of Roostercombe. Scarface might be the most underrated hike in the entire park. 60 mile an hour winds up on Hurricane. Very fitting, cruising up the bald rock slab here on Bald Mountain. Standing up here on the summit of Catamount Mountain, Iroquois, Mount Van Hovenberg, Skylight, Santanoni. You're listening to the 46 of 46 podcast. August 26, 2021. The dog days of summer are upon us all. And it's always sad to me as August comes to a close. And sure, I like the fall like anybody else. But up here in the Adirondacks, fall is often way too short and winter starts way too soon for my liking. So as August comes to an end, I know the six-month winter is creeping in. However, Today was as far from winter as possible conditions-wise as the hot and somewhat humid 85-degree temperature with a slight breeze filled the Adirondack Park. So it was a great day to get in the woods, and today I was feeling a little adventurous and decided to go hit a mountain that I've never been up, one that even required a 35-minute drive one way. Now, I know most of you listeners drive an hour, two hours, sometimes five hours or even seven or more hours consistently to come climb these mountains. So I suppose I've become a bit soft and spoiled when it comes to the windshield times necessary to hike. But with that said, it was a perfect bluebird summer day and time for a nice drive out to the Taylor Pond Wild Forest to climb a little gem known as Silver Lake Mountain. Silver Lake Mountain is a small mountain with an enormous payoff here in the Adirondack Park. Nestled in the Taylor Pond Wild Forest, Silver Lake is a 0.9 mile trail to the summit with just over 900 feet of elevation gain. So with 100 feet of gain every 0.1 miles to the summit, this short yet very steep trail will make you work for those magnificent summit views. And they are worth it. A textbook Adirondack Mountain Trail with a summit worth visiting over and over again. Fortunately, days like today make for a nice drive around the ADK, so I really didn't mind the 35-minute trip from Lake Placid to Silver Lake's trailhead, knowing full well the drive out there would probably take longer than the climb itself. But that's okay, especially as I arrived at the completely empty trailhead. Beautiful. I would have the whole mountain to myself. So I parked and grabbed my gear, including my new 30-liter day pack, courtesy of the fine people at Eastern Mountain Sports. Big shout out to EMS, and thanks for supporting the podcast and my outdoors fun and adventures that I have here. You know, having different size backpacks is never really a bad thing because oftentimes some packs are overkill for some days or too small for other days. So it's nice to have an assortment. But of course, any backpack will do, and you just need to make it work when you got to make it work. But I had a brand new, smaller backpack, perfect for little hikes like this. So I shut my van door and began the walk in the woods up Silver Lake Mountain. The trail registers a little ways from the parking lot, and I signed in at 10.30 a.m. on the dot. Time to climb. All right, so here we are on uh, Silver Lake Mountain. The trail uh, here at the beginning is in a pretty much a maple forest. There's some beech trees as well. But uh, yeah, this trail is about eight feet wide, six feet wide, dirt and rocks mixed in. A lot of water bars too, so clearly there's been quite a bit of trail work done here. So it's pretty nice actually. Nice quiet day in the woods. But uh, right after you sign in, I mean, you just start climbing. So be prepared for that. Gonna get those legs moving, those lungs 
working real quick. They're going to work all right because I can see what's ahead of me and uh, it never really stops from what I can see at the moment. But I kind of know that. I know it's kind of a up, up, up trail, but uh, well, I will say it looks to be more than I anticipated it being. That's all right, though. 0.9 miles to the summit. No problemo. The woods at the start of the trail are nice and open and consist of mostly giant maple trees with some small to medium sized beech trees as well. It's a nice green vibe as the sun lights up the leaves all around the woods. This trail has also clearly been worked on and was quite dry today. And there's not much in terms of trail markers on this trail to be aware of, but it's uh, quite apparent where it goes and even on all of the slab climbs, it's pretty obvious. But up the trail I went as I began that 900 feet of gain in 0.9 miles. And with that said, the climb begins from your very first step. There is definitely no flat approach to get to this peak, that is for sure. So one of the reasons I came out here to Silver Lake Mountain in particular is because someone had mentioned it to me, or two different people mentioned it to me this week. And I was like, okay, I got to go hit that up at some point here. And I keep hearing it, its name. So, so today's a good day. I got a couple hours to kill. Why don't I drive out to Silver Lake? And another reason is because I wanted to scope it out to see if it'd be like a nice little family stroll, family hike, you know, a la Mount Joe, Cobble Hill, that sort of thing. And uh, it's definitely steeper than I would have anticipated. So... Good for the family if you're not uh, carrying the little one in your arms, <laughs> which I know is what would end up happening to me since my youngest will no longer go in the pack. She'll walk until she needs to be carried, and it would be a tough one to carry a person up. I will say that. But otherwise, it's short, short, steep, and sweet from what I gather. But uh, yeah, as soon as, as soon as you start hiking, it is, uh, it is climbing viciously towards the beginning of the trail there's a number of water bars and it's a nice mix of rock and dirt trail plenty of rocks to walk on as well as nice hard packed dirt a delightful trail really but the story of the day on this little peak is up 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 to the top at a very steady and consistent rate there's the occasional flatter section to allow you to give the legs a little break from the constant burn that they're undoubtedly experiencing from the steeper climbs. But then you round a corner and you look up and see the trail going up into the sky at a very steep rate. And you know, okay, I'm going to start sweating here. So like with most mountains here in the Adirondacks, especially over in the High Peaks region, down low pretty much all hardwood trees and then the higher you get you start to see the shift towards evergreens big spruce trees um so far this has been exactly that the day started with tons of maples big old maples and lots of beech trees with beech nuts all over the ground in case there are any deer or black bears listening Lots of beech nuts over here on Silver Lake Mountain, in case you're hungry. Um, but then as you get higher up, you start to see the shift. And I actually really like that shift um, in the woods. It's cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're seeing right now. Speaking of beech nuts, here's a bunch right in front of me. Cool. At this point in the hike, too, the trail is just... Uh, you know, a nice dirt trail covered in covered in needles and, you know, exposed roots and whatnot. Pretty typical rocks here and there. But it's nice, though. Nice and dry and uh, a true delight. And the trail has leveled off just a little bit. Not really leveled off. Still climbing, but uh, not as viciously, I should say, as, as it has been right from the get-go. The trail goes up the southwestern ridge of the mountain, and the higher you get in elevation, like most 80K peaks, the woods start to change and you go from that nice, big, open hardwood forest to the introduction of some evergreen trees and a nice peppering of each, and then more pines as you get all the way to the top. 
And this mountain had a large amount of pine trees in particular. Pretty much all pine trees once you're at the summit. The contrast of colors with their long green needles, you know, mixed with the brown dirt on the trail, and then supplemented with the grayish color of the rock slabs, it really makes for a textbook outdoors scene and an enjoyable mountain experience in my mind. The green, the brown, and the gray. And speaking of slabs, a lot of this trail climbs along some bare slabs in the woods as well. So it makes those stretches quite fast for ascending and descending, on a dry day anyways, because it would be potentially quite slippery on a wet day. But today was drier than a popcorn fart, so that was not a problem. Yes, it was that dry. So that was good. There are a few slabs that offer minimal views, though, through the trees, but more realistically, they just kind of foreshadow what's to come, as opposed to being described as a real view. This trail has a lot of, a lot of steep climbs. It doesn't really give, up, give in a little bit. You know, I guess at some points, for a minute, you might have a little bit of a flatter section, but for the most part, it's just up, 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 up. And there's also quite a few, uh, quite a few rock staircases as well, like the one I'm currently traveling on. Oh, and that's a, oof, that's a big climb that's uh, right above me here, waiting for me. All right. So far, so good. Sun's out. Bugs aren't too bad. I have a feeling I'm about to get some pretty cool views momentarily. All good. Haven't seen anybody yet on the on the day. I was the only car at the trailhead, so wouldn't be surprised if I have the mountain to myself today, which would be awesome. Great woods here, too. The woods here on this mountain are just fantastic. A nice mix of, you know, nice dirt trails and lots of rocks to walk on. Onward towards the summit. Halfway up the mountain, you'll come to a flat, open 20-yard stretch or so with grass and slabs that make for a very nice place to take a swig and a snack, let your legs breathe and your lungs relax for a minute. And you should because there's a lot more fast climbing to come. And these climbs are also always completely visible, so you know what your future entails as soon as you look up the trail. Made it to a nice little flat section. Here on a uh, nice uh, slab slab of rock cool little area uh trail is let up a minute for a minute so that's good uh can't really see any views through the trees here lots of maple trees and uh pine trees but a uh, cool section and it's flat and the higher you get on the mountain you basically end up walking on mostly slabs some rocks and you know some occasional dirt paths but a lot of slabs especially towards the summit so this is definitely a mountain you can cruise up and cruise down. So I climbed and I climbed and then I came to an area that I was sure the summit was just ahead. Only to round another corner and see an even bigger climb in front of me. So you know when you're hiking and you're pretty sure you must be, you know, approaching what you're looking for in this, in this case, the summit. And... You come around a corner, you see, oh, there's a little bit, some views here. Oh yeah, this feels very peaky. Feels very somebody, I must be pretty much there. And you a little flat section and you're, you're sure that you're at the summit. And then only to round a corner and see a huge, steep climb still ahead of you. And you think, oh, I'm definitely not at the summit. Well, that's where I am right now. I felt like I was probably close, and then I rounded a corner here, and um, yeah, it's uh, it looks like any steep section you'd see in the high peaks, probably 75 yards straight up, so climbing that. Fortunately though, it's uh, an exposed slab, so it's pretty grippy and it's nice and dry today. On a wet day, that might be tough, but today it's just tough on the old lungs and the quads but that's all right almost there i think so far this hike's been quite delightful though i'm really into it and i'm uh, really into uh all of the cool 